Ashley just came in um, and show your kids made these at school today. Yeah, I was gonna do what I did with Gavin with their handprint the, with the salt dough, but that was not working out. Their handprints, I didn't think about it, are huge. Like they're a lot bigger than baby's hands. Right. And so. It just wasn't working, and they weren't pressing hard. It just was. It wasn't working out. Aren't so you we did ginger ribbon instead. Are you not worried that those googly eyes will melt? They, and they might, but after they're baked, I can't put them in anyway. And so if they do melt and look ugly, I'll just flip them over and we'll paint the other side. Okay. Because we're gonna paint these on Friday. So you have those, uh -huh. and she has all of these. And the ones that are like pushed down all the way and kind of lopsided, the kid, another student, helped me put them in. I think they're cute. So they're I would ones. worry about a melt. Like but, but they'll probably they'll, they'll probably solid. be okay. Yeah, they'll, we'll see. They'll solidify. So what? You have to just put them in the oven just like you did that hand for three hours. Yeah. Okay. So Friday is our last day of school for before Christmas break, and so as a preschool teacher, a lot of the parents will give me gifts. However, this year some coworkers gave me the gifts. I'm not going to show you the cards I got just because that's personal. But that one teacher gave me um, this ornament. Another teacher gave me peppermint lemon sugar scrub, which she said is great for your feet, and it uses peppermint essential oils, the Young Living. She's all about the Young Living. Um, and then another teacher gave me this, and it says, for your mistletoes and your winter nose. And it has tissues, lotion, which I used today at work. I probably should have kept that at my desk. Um, this nail polish, and a pumice stone. So, I was happy. Then, I found, uh, when I got to work today, this was not on my door, but when I opened it to take us to a restroom break, this was on my door. And it says, you've been socked. Do you want me to read it? Sure. It says, Christmas time is oh so dear, so I'm sending you some cheer. Open the sock and enjoy the surprise. Now some holiday, some holiday fun right before your eyes. Now it's your turn to do the socking, so get ready to fill the stocking. You can include any kind of treat, something that's cute or maybe to eat. A happy friend will love to find a holiday surprise of any kind. Hanging from their front door, the Christmas joy will spread, will spread some more. Thanks for joining in on the fun. Let's hope it travels to everyone. So, so you have to do this to somebody so else. So I have to give it to somebody else. And I already know who I'm going to give it to. But there was some coal, and I actually shared these with my kids. It's chocolate. It's coal. Um, not even gonna lie, I put on these socks during nap time because I was absolutely frozen. So open so <laughs> they weren't open when I got them. Oh, that goes with a different gift. Um, this little candy cane, and it says, "Look at the candy cane. What do you see? Stripes, stripes that are red, like the bloodshed for me." White is for my Savior, who's sin sinless and pure. J is for Jesus, my Lord, that's for sure. Turn it around, and a staff you will see. Jesus, my shepherd, was born for me. So that's cute. Um, that's so different. Uh, Reese pieces. Some golden coins. And a Coke. And a little ornament ball, which is adorable. So when I was feeling, I was like, what in the world is in there? So then another teacher gave me this. And it is her favorite teaching Bible verse. It's 1 Peter 5, 2 through 4. Um, she wrote a nice message on the back, but that's personal, so I'm going to keep it to myself. Oh. Then another parent in this bag gave me... Just kidding. We're going to wait. We're going to do this one. She gave me... A while back, she asked me what my favorite candy was, and I was like, Snickers. So that's what she gave me. This is... This is an ornament, and... I'm not going to show it to you because it has all my kids' names on it, and I don't want to do that. But it's super cute, and it just has little snowmen on it and all of their names. And it says, on the bottom, it says Miss Ashley 2014. It's just their first names, right? I, I don't, I'm not comfortable you know with that. Okay. Uh, then she gave me some cozy socks. I actually needed some of these. So I've got two pairs. I'm happy. And then a little penguin mug. And so, funny story. I drink root beer like it's going out of style, and... My kids were like, are you drink?" one of my children said, are you drinking a beer? And I said, oh no, Miss Ashley doesn't drink beer at school. And he said, well, what's that? So I knew I couldn't say that's root beer because then he'd go home and tell his mother, Miss Ashley's drinking beer at school. So I call it root candy. So when she gave it to me, she said, are you going to be drinking your root candy out of the penguin mug? That's funny. I was like, yeah. Okay, so then... Another student gave me this, and I had complimented her lipstick, and I was like, I love your lipstick. What is it? Bought me the lipstick and gave it to me. And that's clever. Yeah, and I was like, yes. 
It is 63 Angel Red. And I just love it on her. So I hope it looks as nice on me as it does on her. I'm sure. So those are my goodies for today. So this is how they look after they baked for three hours on 200 degrees. Actually, they've been more like three and a half hours. No, three hours and 15 minutes. Um, but anyway, you can see their little googly eyes did not melt, I guess, because it's such a low temperature. But, um, so anyway, some of them, <laughs> some of them look quite creepy, but, um, anyway, their eyes didn't melt, so I thought I would tell you that, show them to you. That one looks like it's popped up a little bit. I'm going to push it, push it back in there. She might have to use a dot of glue on some of these. I don't know. They look pretty good, all except that one. He was a cool dude with his glasses on. Oh, he's cool enough to kiss. Kissy, kissy in the mirror. I saw you. I saw you. I saw you kiss yourself in the mirror. You gonna kiss that little boy? No. Can you kiss him? No. You're not going to kiss him? No. Yeah. He's awfully cute. <laughs> no. 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 You want to kiss Nanny? No. 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 You want to kiss Papa? You want to kiss Papa? Oh, by the way, Kevin thinks he has figured out the mystery of the pantyhose. Why Gavin wants them on his head. He thinks he's figured it out. Kevin was watching Jake and the NeverEnding Pirates this morning. And, or Gavin was watching it and Kevin saw it. And then when Gavin was watching it, he went and got the pantyhose out of the drawer. Well, Jake is wearing, he's wearing this brown thing on his head, isn't he? It's a, it's a pirate thing. It's a pirate it's thing. thing. What do they call it? I don't know what they call it. A do-rag. It's, it's, like it's like a do-rag on it's his head. And so, Gavin saw that, and so, that's when he went and got the pantyhose. So, Kevin thinks he's just trying to be like Jake and have something on his head. And put him back on? You don't want to put him back on? No, you don't have to. What's the key cat say? What's the key cat say, Gavin? He says meow. Can you say it? What does the pug say? The pug snores, doesn't he? You hear him snoring? Yeah, he's conked out. <laughs> he's literally conked out. I got up here in his face with the camera. I'm sorry. Did I wake you up, honey? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I woke you up, honey. So this is uh, one of Gavin's Christmas presents, and later on, um, after Christmas, you'll see a video where we list everything that we bought for him, but Andrew brought this over to our house um, because it was delivered to their home. It's Disney Junior Official Magazine, and he will get it um, every other month. And I was going to order turtle or something like that, but then Kevin was looking around, and he said he thought that they would really like this. I didn't even know this existed because I hadn't um, researched it. But it looks like there's stories. I haven't looked through it yet. Andrew just brought it in. And matching spotlight on words. Um, just all kinds of games. Sophia the First. These are characters that Gavin sees every day on Disney. And... Um, even though Sophia is a princess, uh, he still watches her, too. So, you see, there's a maze, the octonauts. 
It looks like this is a um, poster that you can hang up in the middle of the magazine right here. Mm -hmm. Because there's half That's of it. Yeah, and then here's the other half. So yeah, if you a little, if you had a little girl, she could hang it up on her wall. And there's Jake in the uh, Neverending Pirates. So anyway, this looks like it's going to be a really cute magazine, Doc McStuffins. So I just wanted to show you that early before Christmas because he got it today, and we were thrilled. Kevin ordered it from a magazine company we had never heard of. And then that was in October, so we hadn't heard anything about it, so we were afraid we had gotten ripped off, but we hadn't because they sent it today. So, and they show these other magazines on the back, and they look good, too. Kevin, they have Peppa Pig. So, um, anyway, just want to show you that. He's getting dizzy and he's starting yeah. to get sloppy. Right, so, day two of my Prezzies. Um, one child gave me. Oh, that's coming off. Um, I didn't have to fix it. One child gave me a melted snowman ornament and it has his name, his whole name, and the date on the bottom. I thought that was that's, hilarious. That's funny. That's freaky. Yeah. Isn't that that's funny? Cute. Okay, uh, the top's coming off. Can you fix it? Oh, Can you it. super glue it? Yeah. Um, and they've left a very sweet card in there. Um, this is somebody I did not expect a gift from. I work morning care, so like 6.30 to 7.30. I'm not technically that child's teacher, but they gave me a gift card to Starbucks. I think, yeah, Starbucks, a $10 gift card, and a nice card and some homemade peppermint bark. Oh, yeah. And this is a clean family, so I'll eat it. <laughs> Ashley. No, but that's, no, but that's honest. Like, you have to pick and choose sometimes, like. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you know what? That is typical because on Bob and Sherry, they've talked about the same thing on the radio that you have to pick and choose mm -hmm. yeah. uh, from their uh, children's uh, parents. Oh, yes. Yeah. So. So then one parent came in with these two <laughs> and Every day I would take two a and root beers and they're always sitting on my desk. And so they brought me two and the child looked at me and said, now you'll never run out. I thought that was sweet. That's cute. So and these are four-year-olds. Yes. And yes. he gave me a very sweet card to go with it. And I call it my root candy. Okay. So this child gave me a memo pad and a sweet card. And I love the picture on the front of this card. Oh, it's pretty. It's very pretty. Is the memo pad? Oh, it has a pink one on it. Win. And then... Ooh, I see something coming there. And then posties. I should have left those, at, those two things at work. I didn't think about it. came back. And then I got a willow tree, and it says, thank you for making a difference on it. And it's the teacher willow tree. She has a... Oh, yeah. She has an apple. Isn't that cute? Yeah, that is cute. I like it. So. Actually, this is just starting, you realize. What? Your collection of things with for teacher with apples and pencils and I know. yeah you're gonna have a huge collection by the time you're 80. We'll put it back in a minute. Okay. So then um, this was a sweet note from a teacher and she gave us a candy cane and then this is um, the follow in his steps verse it's first Peter 221 and there's a toe ring in there with little feet on it that's cute. And then um, two Christmas cards that were very sweet, but I'm not going to show you those. This goodie bag had all of this stuff in it, so I'm just going to, I didn't bother to put it back in. They gave me a Target gift card. Oh, that's um, nice. She gave me the, I call them Jesus pens because I love them. They're paper made and they're like felt tip. Love them. Um, that's a $25 gift card. I know. That's and then so all this nice. chocolate. Yeah. And then these are left over from our party. So those don't count as a gift. Um, this is like the cutest thing in the world. I teach what's your superpower and it has my name in it. How cute is that? You know, I hadn't even noticed your name. I hadn't looked that close. I know they had it like custom. I would just love it. That's cool. So I can't wait to hang that up. Then a parent, and I've already may or may not have eaten three of the <laughs> peppermint bark because she follows me on Instagram and she saw it. Um, then, how cute is that? 
That's adorable. That you cute? should keep that. It's a $15 Cold Stone gift card. Cold Stone? Mm -hmm. Cold Stone Creamery is an ice cream place. Yes, and it's if for you, $15. If you don't have a Cold Stone in your area, it's like graters. And then she gave me this from Neiman Mark Neiman blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Neiman Marcus. And it was so cute. Look at how cute that was. That's I like pretty. it. Um and then she gave me a stocking full of kisses. Little Christmas kisses. Oh, that's nice. So that's super cute. And then that's it, I think. Yes. Yeah, you got quite a bit of stuff. I know. I got a crazy amount. So I made sure I sent thank you cards home today to all of them, which took forever, but I did it. It took a long time to write all of it out because it killed me. I forgot at the beginning of the year, I bought thank you cards and just had them on my desk. And I had these stars and I had been writing the thank you cards on that, but then I found the real thank you cards that like are nice looking and I was like, well crap, start all over. So I rewrote them all in the nice. Well, that's good. Well, you got a lot. You'll have to put some of your drinks in the fridge. What is this? That's just all my stuff. No, this. That's a fundraiser that we did. Can I show it? Uh, uh, take it out. Ashley, we did a review. The reason I'm showing it, I saw the box in your bag. The reason I'm showing it is because Ashley did a review of these last year. And they were um, so good, she bought them again. Yeah, so that's, so how much is a box? $16. $16. For that and, particular box. Yeah, and it probably makes a whole lot of cookies. It does. There, does it say me there in there? No, but it makes a lot of cookies. Where are the calories at? So, anyway, I just wanted to show you what I actually got from school today. There are 48. 48. 48 cookies. Where do you see that? Well, it is Saturday, and Kevin and I are doing something that we never do, which is go to the movie theater. We are going to see the newest Hobbit movie because we uh, that's something that... Uh, we see in the theater. We make sure we see all those in the theater. Are the um, well, I don't know that we did see the Lord of the Rings, did we? We didn't see the first set. No, no we didn't see the first set in the theater because Ashley was young, and I don't think we realized how good they they are. But um, I wish we had have seen them in the theater. I think honestly, if they reintroduce them into the theater, I think it would be neat to see them on the big screen. Because they do that from time to time with some uh, Disney movies even. But like the Harry Potter movies, we've seen all those in the theater. Some things are just better on the big screen. But anyway, we're going to see the newest Hobbit movie. And uh, we are not going to get popcorn while we're there because we'll probably get something to eat after. But I brought these Werther's Original. These are sugar-free caramel cinnamon hard candies. And they were... the. Um, on sale, they were like probably half off at Walmart um, because they ex they say they expire on the 31st of December. Now, Kevin said he didn't think hard candy expired, but we've never had them before, so it's a good chance for us to get to try them. They are only 40 calories for five pieces, so I figure this will be really good to uh, suck on during the movie since it's like a two and a half hour long movie so I will try to show you the movie theater when we get there we're going we we thought about going to the um, the theater in our own town but their first showing was at 1230 and they only had four showings the first showing that of the theater we always go to which is uh, the Regal in Lexington it's at 11, so we're going to get to go. We'll be an hour and a half deep into that movie before the first showing in Winchester. So, uh, we do want to try out the theater. It's been refurbished, and we've heard that it is a really, really nice theater with nice seats and everything. But we weren't willing to wait uh, until 1230 to get to go. So, anyway, um, I'll try to show you what it's like when we get there. Okay, I had to check back in. Now I know why you get five for 40 calories. Because these are like the miniest. They don't say many. But they're many. I mean, they're small. Uh, I can feel it through the package. Hold on. Yeah. That's how little that is. That is a little bitty, bitty mem. 
compared to what I'm used to from Barthers Original. Okay, so this is the Regal Cinema. And it looks like she's just now unlocking the door. So we're definitely the first customers of the day. Yeah, she's unlocking the doors right now. So I hope... Uh, I think you have a little I th don't think we'll have a problem finding a seat. <laughs> okay, so here's the theater. And since we're the first ones of the day, I don't have to worry about getting any people. And they have gangs over there. Coming out with a Cinderella movie, Disney. Kate Blanchett, is that what you said? I had no idea they were going to have a Cinderella movie. We're just enjoying the posters right now. Spongebob, we didn't know there was going to be a Spongebob movie. And then over here they have, uh, I didn't show it, they have, um, they have Paddington, Night at the Museum, and this one is Home. Jupiter Ascending, that could be good. Channing Tatum. I've never heard of that one either. I don't know why. Is this just showing an example of the seats? No, I think that, yeah, that's what the seats look like in that premium show. Oh, it's in the that theater. Yeah. Uh, we, didn't wanna, we didn't want to see it in 3D. There's a poster for Annie. Kingsman, The Secret Service. That's all that's on the sun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're in theater number one today. Okay, we just left the movie and I looked over and I saw a horse-drawn carriage over here, which you don't see in this part of town. So I don't know, no, sorry it's so bumpy. I don't know what they're doing, but that's pretty cool. There's nobody in it either. No, there's nobody in it. So we ended up going to the 1130 because the one at 11 o'clock was uh, in 3D. And uh, we just, Kevin's eyes don't work in 3D anyway, and I could care less. So uh, we went to the 1130, which was a regular movie. And what did you think? It was good. It was really good. It was a good ending. Yeah, it was. It was, it was good. fighting for the last it was, forty-five minutes. Yeah, it was a long, long, long fight scene, but it uh, it was good. It, it was really good. Um, and the the candy that I bought, the Werthers, it was good. I think I ate the entire package by Did myself. You? Yeah, yeah. Well, it was only like two hundred calories for the whole bag, so I, I do think I ate all. Yeah, yeah. This is yeah. This was. <laughs> Cause like, oh, there's one, there's one left in there. There's one hanging on at the bottom of the bag. So anyway, those are really good. I still have another bag of those. Uh, I probably wouldn't get them again because it's kind of a bizarre flavor. But once you, if you I've, don't. I've had those before, I didn't like them. Yeah, if, you've never, if you don't have anything else to eat, if that's all there is, then that's what you eat. So they are kind of bizarre. I probably wouldn't get them again. But they're okay. I've noticed uh, in Walmart they do have other varieties of the Werther's Original, and we've never tried any of them. So I'm sure they're good, though. Uh, the good thing about these is that they're uh, they might be a little lower calorie because they're sugar free. I don't know. I don't know about that. So, but uh, anyway, the movie was good. We enjoyed it, and I'm glad we went. So we, if you watch the vlog, Guido's barking because we just came in from Walmart. If you watch the vlog, it wasn't a vlog, it was a Walmart Kroger haul from about a week and a half ago. We bought a puzzle. I took it back to Walmart and got my $10 back just because I know we're not going to sit down for three hours and work a puzzle. It's just not realistic right now. Uh, I watch Gavin all day long and I love watching him, so I'm not complaining, I'm just saying... My time is uh, different now than it used to be. So anyway, we took that back to Walmart, but we only had to spend, we bought some stuff, I'll show you. We only had to spend $12.86 because Kevin had like $13, I think. $13 on a card where we, our savings catcher. So I'll show you what we bought. Not much at all. Uh, 
people have recommended things for his lunchtime review and we've looked there were probably four different things we looked for and we did not see them uh, but we found this uh, healthy choice uh, this is the asian kung pao chicken and this is bourbon steak and he wouldn't normally have gotten this because it's 510 calories uh, but he someone said uh, dr dan told him that it was his one of his favorites so he got that and then we bought ketchup, and I went ahead and bought creamer, so I won't have to worry about it for another week. And cotton balls, and we bought a big thing of water. And we used up, uh, we made these Italian subs, which um, you'll see in a video. And we used up all the ham for Christmas Eve, making those subs. So, um... Uh, we bought more ham, and this time we didn't get deli ham. We bought this, and we've never had this kind of natural choice, but it looks thick enough uh, to where it'll be nice for sandwiches. And then the last thing we bought was tuna noodle casserole, and Dr. Dan also said this was one of his favorites. So what else did we look for when we didn't? I said the water. What else did we look for when we didn't find? The Rayburns. Rayburns, yeah. Uh, pork and... Some kind of brisket. But yeah, I don't they know don't... if it's a sandwich or if it's like just the meat. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, we but we'll we look looked. We looked everywhere. So we'll look up a picture. A lot yeah. of things when we don't find them, we have to see a picture to to uh, find out where they are. So anyway, this will probably be the last vlog. Well, I know it will be the last vlog before Christmas. So Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And I do have a video scheduled for Christmas Day, it's just a Q and A. It's the Q oh, and okay. it's a family Q and A that we did, and it's a Christmas Q and A. So, it's kind of, so yeah. was I not getting you in there? No, I just look really tall from his angle. Hey, you're just you are tall. <laughs> He's so goofy. So anyway. Uh, Ashley still is in the bed, so, uh, Merry Christmas from her two and from, <laughs> and from Andrew and Christina and Master Gavin.